I was asked to uh, do a landscape and uh, I found a photograph on the internet of a, of a mountain that I wanted to see if I could paint. Uh, so I started with charcoal just uh, a rough drawing and and then I can continue it like this and I was uh, painting with uh, oil color and I was painting very fast and it uh, the guy that gave me the job also had this frame so he gave me the frame and the canvas and after maybe three hours the painting looked like this and uh, I was uh, thinking to myself that uh, Until this point, I had only been painting and not thinking, not reflecting, not speculating. I just uh, threw the strokes on the canvas and um, Uh, I realized that um, if I continued to paint on it, it would change, but chances that, that, that it would get better was minor. So I left it like that for a couple of days and then I took it to Oslo to this guy and showed it to him and I said that if he wanted me to continue painting on it I could go ahead and change it. But I wanted him uh, to look at it and after a couple of days he called me and said that he was skeptical in the beginning but uh, after looking at it many times he came to the conclusion that it was alright. so he bought it from me. The crucial point when you paint is that you start to think. Many painters have said that. One painter said if he noticed that he was starting to think then he just put down the brush because it was it was going to be hopeless to continue some people when they paint they uh, they have the easel in front of a chair 
and they sit on the chair staring at what they paint I never do that when I sit down I can't see the painting sometimes I I have the painting in another room and uh, to go back into the easel to continue the painting I have to walk into the next room um, and when I get to the next room I don't look at the painting I just um, I just continue right ahead um, I always find where I want to paint immediately I just simply paint over what I don't like and uh, it's very easy uh, to see what I don't like